how to get the white balance right super quick when photographing buildings. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Rick McAvoy. I'm a photographer, blogger, podcaster, and even YouTuber. I'm based in the UK and I specialize in photographing buildings. That's architectural photography, construction photography, real estate photography, anything with the building in basically. So this week on my blog, I answered the question which I've already said to you. See, when you're taking photos of a building, you need to get the white balance right. And I have a great technique that I use, which I will share with you here. First off, what I like to call the answery bit. Here we go. This is the bit I'm going to read out. <clears throat> Excuse me. To get the white balance right when photographing buildings, place a grey card in the first shot of a room. Take another shot without the grey card in. Then, in Lightroom, simply using the eyedropper tool, click on the grey card and that is white balance done. You can copy and paste this white balance setting to other photos with similar lighting. Yeah, it really can be that simple. Now, I have to, I have to do a quick caveat here by saying that in, in complex lighting, you might need to do more. It might not be enough, but most of the time this technique works and is a super quick and super easy way to get white balance right. I've never used super twice in a sentence before. <laughs> so, the bit of kit that you need, is it expensive? Well, rather cleverly, I don't have one of the cheaper products with me. I think I've been them all years ago. But the thing that you're after is what's called a grey card, and it's a card that's grey. They come free with some books, photography books that is, or you can buy them online, or you can buy one of these. So it even shows you that when that couple getting married, they're holding the grey card. Take it out of the pouch. Voila, grey card. It's a bit mangled and used this one, but this is the general principle. Photograph me, and why wouldn't you? Put the card there. The light falling on my face is falling on here. So that's the neutral grey, 18% grey, okay? So it's a neutral, it's between white and black, it's a mid-range grey. And what we can do, you can move it, you can, well, you can't see it now, can you? This is the thing, basically. So like I say, to photograph my face, you could put it here. Well, that's, that's an improvement, let's be honest with you. You could go like that. So it's the same light hitting my face as hitting that. Take a photo, boom, move it away. Take another photo. I'll smile for that one. And when you get your photos into good old Lightroom, sorry, I can't vouch for other software because I only use Lightroom, so sorry about that. Go to um, the basic panel, white balance, click on the dropper tool, just put, pay, take the eyedropper over to the, the grey card in the photo, click on it. White balance done. Yep, it is that simple. This thing, See, it's bigger, so you can basically include it from further away, and it gives you more of a more of a grade than a little card, and it folds up like that. Now, every time I've done that on video before, it hasn't worked, so I'm quite happy with that. Little angy thing. Other people make them. You don't have to buy that one. That's it. 20, 30 quid. 10 to 20 quid. You could probably get them cheaper than that. And that's white balance done. No, that's that's white balance done. Check out the blog post, which I wrote this morning. So this is brand new, fresh stuff that I've actually written all on the same day. I'll give you some more info in there. Obviously, I'll tell you how fantastic I am. Let's not, <laughs> let's not forget about that. What do I say in the blog? Is this important? Well, yes, it is important. Getting the white balance right gives you the correct colours in a photo. Get this wrong and you'll have a tough time getting the colours right. But as it's so easy to do, why would you not do this anyway and get the white balance right every time quickly and easily? It's a fair point, isn't it? It's not as though I'm asking you to do something difficult here. It's an easy thing to do that gets your white balance. I'd say 99 times out of 100 for the photography that I do. Okay? Other people will say... No, nah, it's not enough. You need to be more precise than that. You need to be more scientific. There's more complicated things. I've probably got one of them down here somewhere. A 
I really should have got it out before, haven't you? You can get colour checkers, stuff like that. Screws the caster wheels on the office floor. But for the work that I do, this does for me. Now, one thing I don't mention in, in the blog post is that you do need a calibrated monitor so you can see that these colours are correct because that's what you're working with. But it's the starting point. And another thing I don't mention in the blog post, adding value all the way here. You can use these things to get your exposure bang on as well. So there is another use for them. OK, so what is white balance? Well, if you're shooting in JPEG, you've got auto white balance. I don't know what else you got, to be honest with you. But if you're shooting in RAW, you've got a range of presets. On my Canon 6D, I've got auto white balance, daylight, shade, cloudy, tungsten, fluorescent and flash. Now... If we go with the daylight, shade and clouding, that's different colour temperatures which produce different colour casks. It's also the range of from cold to warm. OK, so that's, you know, if it's if it's daylight, the sun isn't isn't filtered at all by the clouds. If it's cloudy, it is. If it's shade, it's even more so. So these are the different colour temperatures. Now, tungsten and fluorescent, they're just comp and flash, sorry. They're completely different and specific colour temperatures. So shooting in RAW, you could select a, a preset. Like if I'm shooting in daylight, I'd select daylight and stay with that. But I don't do that. I go to auto white balance. I use, let me read this out to you. What do, I always like to put in my blog posts and podcast episodes. What do I do? Well, I can't find it, can I? <laughs> I'll tell you what I do. I shoot using auto white balance, raw format. I use one of these and I click on it with the eyedropper and the white balance tool in Lightroom and that's Lightroom and that's white balance done, sorry. And I can copy and paste it. So if I've done two photos in a room, I won't take another one with the colour card in, the grey card, sorry, oops. It's the same light in the same room, so I can just copy and paste the white balance and it's done. And if the next room is the same and the next room is the same, same thing. With the, with the exterior of a building, if the lighting is the same, do it once and you're done for, until the light changes. And it is that simple. But the beauty of this is that you are actually capturing the correct temperature of light. You're recording the correct temperature of light at the time you take the photo. So if you've got overhead tungsten if you've got tungsten lights in the room you've got a window you've got mixed lighting it's giving you that average now yes there are more technical and scientific ways of doing this i'm sure many people will shoot me down for saying ah oh, you've far too oversimplified this white balance is much more complicated than that but is it is it really i suggest not so get yourself a gray card get the correct color of card all you need is a piece of card if you've got Lightroom, that's white balance sorted. Okay, well, that went better than expected. What else can you do? Well, how can you find out more about this stuff that I talk about? Well, you can stick with my YouTube channel. There's loads of good stuff on there. You can email me, sales at rickmacavoyphotography.co.uk. Check out my website, rickmacavoyphotography.com. Or check out my Splendid Photography Explained podcast, which has its own website cunningly titled photographyexplainedpodcast.com. Where do I come up with this stuff? Right, I'm done. It's rather warm here today. Yes, I am recording this video on that hottest day of the whatever, ever, possibly, here in England. So I will say thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. Get in touch. It'd be great to hear from you. And hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Cheers from me, Rick.